G'day viewers, I'm going to share something with you that may surprise a few of you. But when it comes to uh, dealing with what I think of politicians and public figures in general, as much as possible, I actually try to avoid going straight for the abuse, straight for the personal stuff. There are exceptions, and I think they earned the different treatment. But when the first thing you do is something personal and abusive, it tends to lower the overall standard of discourse. And look, I'm only here for shits and giggles. Maybe inform you a bit, but really, to give you a bit of laugh and get a bit of catharsis. I do all the crazy ranting, yelling, you don't have to, and you can just feel better afterwards by proxy. But you see, when you publicly go straight to abuse, uh, for instance, a lot of people rightly pointed out that our current Prime Minister, when he was in opposition, appeared at a rally with some viciously abusive and sexist signs behind him attacking the then Prime Minister Julia Gillard. And he should not have stood in front of those signs. That does not befit someone who thinks they should run a country. But these days, the same people who complained about that, I see them going to public rallies wearing shirts that say, fuck Tony Abbott. Well and good, fuck the guy. I dislike everything about him and his policies. But it's a bit of a double standard if you say, oh, he can't stand in front of a sign saying, Gillard is Bob Brown's bitch, but I can wear a t-shirt that says, fuck Tony Abbott. Look, sure, you're not running for Prime Minister. It is different. I get it. But I think you should think about it. But some people, they're so fucking bad, I'm not going to waste time on nuance. You look at them and you just go, fuck that guy. The one I'm going to talk to you about now is a thoroughly objectionable piece of shit called Cory Bernardi. He pushes the most conservative, hateful, fringe Christian shit. I put it in brackets because no Christian I've ever associated with is this fucking hateful. It really disturbs me when someone uses religion, something that's meant to be about you know, bringing out the best in people to be hateful and vile and vicious to someone because they disagree with them. You know, it's one thing if someone's actually out there hurting someone, but if you just disagree with their life, their beliefs, what they do, just fucking get over it. Now, Bernardi's one of these ones who says, you can't legalise homosexuality or gay marriage because that then it's just, oh, man and dog and oh, polygamy and, and I'm not equating polygamy and bestiality. By the way, Cory Bernardi and his type of fuckwit are. But it's simply, he's one of those, he's literally said that. In fact, he lost his job being a close advisor to the Prime Minister because he said stuff that's so fucked and so extreme, everyone was saying, no, that's bullshit, you can't say that. And the latest thing that's happened in Australia, uh, the Australian Capital Territory passed a law legalising same-sex marriage, uh, and it got overthrown when the federal government went to the High Court and said, we want to overthrow that. And the federal government said, yes. Uh, the High Court said, that's the federal government's jurisdiction. I love, at some point he's going to pull some bullshit and go, oh, this is a state's rights issue. Like when he's uh, killing all environmental protection because there's some ultra-conservative state government who are completely fucking corrupt! I didn't say that because that would be actionable. You didn't see my lips move. I think some sort of break in space-time made that voice come in and say, THEY'RE ALL FUCKING CORRUPT! It's weird. Science is weird. But, yeah, so any talk he says in the future about states' rights is complete bullshit. So, okay, same-sex marriage was legal briefly in the ACT, now illegal, uh, and one of the prominent uh, front benches in the government, and quite frankly a leadership contender for the Prime Minister, one Malcolm Turnbull, has come out and said, look, I think this is a mistake. When you compare to other countries that we like to compare ourselves, we're going in the wrong direction. Everyone else is either fully recognising same-sex relationships or is taking steps in that direction. For us to take steps in the other direction, we're the ones who are kind of wrong. Honestly, those are statements of fact. When you look at the countries most similar to Australia with similar ideals, they are all moving down the path to accept same-sex relationships. So it's a statement of fact to say, Australia's the one going in the other direction. And I think anyone who doesn't have their head right up their ass knows that arguing against same-sex marriage is being on the wrong side of history. 
But having Mr Turnbull out there saying, you know what, we should have let that go, we should make moves, we should have what's called a conscience vote, where you don't have to vote along party lines, everyone secretly votes what they really want the outcome to be, and see what happens. And Bernardi and another Conservative in the Liberal National Party Coalition have gone, Oh, he can't say that, he's not allowed to! The rules are he's not allowed to say stuff that's outside his jurisdiction. And that actually is, by and large, their party rules. But I'm sure if he said something that they agreed with that was outside his jurisdiction, they wouldn't be complaining. It's just that he said something that they don't like, and so they go, Oh, he's not allowed to do it! And Bernardi's been saying... Turnbull should resign from his position on the front bench. Um, to which I say, eat a big old shit sandwich, you horrible fucking vermin. See, my biggest problem is not just that Bernardi and his type are hateful slime balls. It's just that he says stuff that is actually, objectively, factually wrong. He's going, oh, he shouldn't be indulging in fringe issues like gay marriage. When actual opinion polls show a significant majority of Australians support same-sex marriage. And in fact, the ones who are actively opposed to it are a really quite small minority. So actually, Corey, mate, you are the fringe, okay? That is a simple fact. You know, look up the definition. We, when you're in this small group off the side, particularly when you're saying insane shit like you say, you're the fringe. So go say some ridiculous shit about your magic man in the sky is going to strike everyone dead in the burning hill. But don't say stuff that is actually, factually wrong. You fucking piece of shit. I mean, honestly, when I saw this thing today with Bernardi saying, Oh, don't push it, resign. The first thing I thought is, Oh, I, I actually I want to write a song called Corey Bernardi is a piece of shit and I really fucking hate him. But I can't sing or have any musical gifts at all, so that didn't happen. But what I can do is rant. So that's what I'm saying. You know what? You have your own beliefs, that's one thing. But trying to force your crazy lunatic fringe beliefs on the majority of the population while spouting the lie that you're the mainstream it doesn't just make you horrible and hateful and fucked. It makes you a stinking, lying piece of shit. Corey Bernardi, go fuck yourself. Incidentally, the way these people fixate on bestiality when no one else is talking about bestiality, does that make you think? Like, uh, honestly, think... It, if, uh, the explanation is one of three categories. Either he's just really, really, really stupid and he thinks there's a connection when there obviously isn't. Like, and if that's true, he's too stupid to have a position of responsibility. Or he's deliberately lying and saying a loaded, emotional, hateful thing to advance his fucked, hateful agenda. In which case, he's a fucking piece of shit and he doesn't deserve to have a position of authority. Or... He's just really into dog fucking and thinks about it a lot. Like, I think it must be like someone saying, What do you want for breakfast, Corey? We've got a few cereals. You know what? You're just thinking about dog fucking, aren't you? No, honestly, I'm thinking cereal. No, no, cereal now, dog fucking tomorrow. I think it's the dog fucking is what I'm saying.